Right now, it feels like every company has a digital transformation project. Securing the right people to the right technology has moved beyond human capacity. The top three obstacles realizing a solid identity program are limited resources, 56% of companies believe their cyber staffing shortfalls put them at risk. Complex environments, 55% of companies rely on manual processes to adjust access. Lack visibility into their data, less than 50% of companies know who has access to cloud resources, unstructured data, and devices. I'm happy to introduce Colin Perry from PwC to talk about how AI plays a critical role. So thanks for joining me, Colin. So let me ask you the first question. What is AI and how does it relate to identity security? Well, thanks, Dave. Appreciate you having me. You know, I, th I think we look at the market overall, maybe as a backdrop for why AI in the first place. I think one of the great things is we've seen such an expansion of recognition of the importance of identity and identity security specifically. But I think if you look at the kind of overall ecosystem, we're also seeing organizations have to adopt more applications and actually uh, ex expand the scope of what we've kind of focused on in identity traditionally. So what I mean by that is not just focusing on the traditional applications, but also going from data all the way to the latest cloud applications. So greater scope. And on top of that, we're finding that while cybersecurity programs are getting more funding, they still are dealing with a shortage of, of people. So, you know, they're recognizing the importance of identity security. They have to cover a greater breadth of applications and data than they ever did before, but they have to do it with the same, you know, staff that they've had traditionally. So in comes the need for AI. I think we've, we've had this need for a long time. How have you seen AI change the landscape of identity security? There's always been this need to do things more efficiently. And I think when we say efficiency, we're talking about not just from the deployment side. You know, certainly that's, that's massive. If we can implement these solutions faster, if clients can manage the solution on an ongoing basis in a simpler way, that, that's a huge benefit for, for organizations. But, but I also look at the end user. You know, the end user is being asked to do more and more with, with regard to security. And that end user needs to have a more efficient process for doing it. Better context of what they're looking at, uh, being able to make decisions more quickly. Any compelling use cases that are driving AI down to the identity level that you've seen? One is access certification or access review. You know, it's something we've been doing as an industry for a really long time. I think you, probably most people would agree that if you manage people, you should be accountable for the, the access that they have. But the challenge is, is you know, understanding what does that access really mean. It's always been difficult. Um, we can put great descriptions on that. Of course, that takes a lot of manual effort to, to generate descriptions. Um, and the reality is there's, there's intelligence, or there, there's some information that's sitting out there in the ether that we just have to capture and bring and, and present to that decision maker, that reviewer. So you mentioned the future. What do you see changing in the landscape in the coming years? I think you know one of the really interesting things that I'm excited about is using more activity data from uh, from the ecosystem. So you know, in identity, traditionally, we're, we're you know we're able to leverage activity a little bit, but I think solutions like your your uh, the SailPoint solution, being able to incorporate activity data to make more intelligent decisions around have people really utilize this access over a period of time, and and with that. When we look at seasonality of access, where people are using it you know, periodically from time to time, but maybe on some sort of routine basis, like they need to log in you know, once a month or once a quarter for some specific operation, being able to bring that intelligence into the, uh, into the kind of sphere of visibility as well, so that both the security teams as well as the, you know, just in, even individuals' managers can understand and have that context when making decisions. Another big area I think is actually empowering the end user with more context and, and uh, capabilities as well. So I think wherever we can make the life of the end user simpler, much like they have in their cons you know, daily consumer life with uh, consumer technology, I think that's, that's so exciting as well. So I think we'll see you know, activity data come into that space. Um, and then I also think uh, kind of the last third point I was going to make was on role lifecycle management. So this is another area where, you know, with, with the AI technologies, we can do better role mining than we ever have been able to before. SaaS has enabled the uh, ability to mine big data sets so we can actually you know, have analytics over this data. 
But then when we get into role lifecycle management, we really need a lot more intelligence. And I think AI is going to be able to bring some interesting uh, use cases into that, into that space as well. Really informational. Really appreciate you spending time with us today. Great. Thanks so much for having me.